Anderson County Councilwoman Gracie Floyd passed away on Friday from COVID-19, pneumonia and other health complications, according to her son, who posted on her official Councilwoman Facebook page. Floyd served District 2 on the County Council, which covers most of the city of Anderson for more than 20 years. And Fox Carolina Zach Perlutsky is live in Anderson tonight with more from fellow County Council members who say the loss of Miss Gracie, as she is called, is one for the entire county. Zach. Yeah, Shay, well, back all the way in 1999, Gracie Floyd was first elected to the Anderson County Council. That was to finish the term of her late husband, William, who, as a matter of fact, was the first African-American elected to the Anderson County Council. Now, for the last 20 years, Floyd has left her mark on the community. Fellow council members describe her as someone who always fought for her constituents. Anderson County Councilwoman Gracie Floyd passed away on Friday following health complications from COVID-19 and pneumonia. Floyd was the longest serving member on the Anderson County Council, serving as the District 2 representative for 21 years. Vice Chairman of the County Council Brett Sanders says Floyd took him under her wing when he joined the council. A strong, outspoken lady that uh, never held anything back and I respected her for that. She was a friend a personal friend, a mentor. Some of Floyd's contributions on the county council will be felt for years to come. She helped start a gang task force, eliminate substandard housing, organized more than a dozen community-based organizations, and much more. And at the end of the day, you could look back in, all, in her history as being on county council. If she ever got something in her mind that she wanted to change or make, you know, make a difference with, uh, she fought and she fought hard for it. However, Floyd was more than just a county councilwoman. She was an educator for 30 years, as well as a drug and alcohol abuse counselor. But since 2000, she's been a full-time fighter for her district. We had differing uh, political views, and, you know, we, we would say, uh, I said, Miss Floyd, you know, I'm not, I don't want to argue. She said, son, we're not arguing, we're debating. Her colleagues on the council saying you have to be doing some things right to continue to be elected to serve for more than 20 years. Not only did she serve the citizens in her district, uh, but uh, it's obvious that she also listened to the citizens in her district. Gracie Floyd was 75 years old. Now, the Anderson County flag here at the Anderson County Courthouse is flying at half staff in honor of Floyd. Typically, when a seat on the county council comes up with significant time until the next election, there is a special election held. However, I'm told by some county council members that at this point, there's been no determination on if or when that special election would be. For now, reporting live in Anderson, Zach, Zach Prulutsky, Fox Carolina News.